This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1423, Showing Up, by Steve Pavlina of stevepavlina.com. And I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, or welcome for the first time if you're new here. This is the podcast where I act as your very own personal narrator and read to you from some of the most popular health and fitness blogs online. Now, for a lot more blogs being narrated for you, check out Optimal Living Daily. You can search and find that podcast wherever you're listening to this. Now, one thing I don't really talk about all that often, my niece comes from a family of doctors and she's had really bad allergies since she was a baby. Something she's doing now is immunotherapy and we've seen it work. It's really promising. So if you have trouble with allergies that's affecting your sleep or fitness or any aspect of your life, check out Curex, a long-term solution for your allergies. Curex is a telehealth platform that offers allergy immunotherapy, which treats the source of your allergies, not just the symptoms, by building up the body's immune response to an allergen. Meet with a doctor online through a simple telehealth consultation, share your allergy history, take an allergy test at home, and receive your customized prescription for immunotherapy right to your door. 50% of Americans suffer from seasonal allergies, and over-the-counter medications aren't a long-term solution and can mess with your microbiome. Try Curex. Find out if you're a fit for immunotherapy at getcurex.com slash OHD and get $75 off your first order with the code OHD. That's getcurex.com slash OHD. Promo code OHD. All right, let's get right to Steve's post as we optimize your life. Showing Up by Steve Pavlina of stevepavlina.com. I'm sure you've heard the Woody Allen quote that 80% of success is showing up. While merely showing up to work, to an audition, to a date, etc. won't guarantee success, it's certainly a prerequisite. A few months ago, I began training in Kempo, a martial arts style that could be described as a cross between karate and kung fu, plus some weapons training. I'm currently an orange belt, still very much a beginner, but far enough along to grasp the basics. By showing up to the studio again and again, I learn self-defense techniques, get an interesting workout, and have a lot of fun. If I simply continue this pattern, I'll gradually learn Kempo and advance in belt ranks. Is this easy? No. I don't always feel motivated to go to class, and sometimes I wrestle with the time commitment. Is this on autopilot? Yes. Attending Kempo classes is a habit, so it would actually take some effort to quit. All I need to do is keep showing up, and the rest is on autopilot. If I show up to class, I know I'll put in the effort when I get there, and feel good about it afterwards. Showing up is always the limiting step. Showing up doesn't guarantee I'll become a black belt, but it will get me about 80% of the way there if I stick with it. Situations where showing up gets you 80% of the way to your goal are golden. In addition to martial arts training, here are some other examples. Show up to class, which will help you get an education and or earn a degree. Show up to work to help you earn an income and build a career. Show up to the gym to get in that workout and build fitness. Show up to Toastmasters meetings to help you overcome fear of public speaking and develop communication skills. And show up to the grocery store with a healthy shopping list, which will help you buy healthy foods and hopefully improve your diet. You can also stretch this concept to apply to other areas, like show up to your relationship, which may help you set aside time for your partner, go on dates, etc. Show up to your spiritual practice to increase your meditation practice or reading or attending services, etc. Show up to success to hopefully help you make decisions and set goals and commit. Show up to give, to volunteer, to share, to help others. Show up to opportunities, write a book, start a business, create a website. Show up to growth, read, journal, take time for introspection. If you allow abstract concepts like health or love to remain abstract, you won't move forward in these areas. Abstractions are wonderful tools for thought, but eventually you need to turn them into concrete physical actions. Your abstraction must eventually become a process of showing up. For example, The abstract concept of fitness can be turned into the physical process of going to the gym, going running, or attending martial arts classes. The abstract concept of expanding your consciousness can become the practices of daily meditation and journaling. 
the abstract concept of continuing education can become the habit of reading for an hour a day. Turning an abstraction into a process of showing up requires an initial effort of time and energy. You have to sign up for the class, join the gym, or do something else to get the ball rolling. Once the system is in place, you're on autopilot. Keep showing up, and the results will take care of themselves. My favorite process for making this transition is the 30-day trial, plus the method of overwhelming force. By making a 30-day commitment instead of a lifetime commitment, it's easier to get moving. And by the end of day 30, it's hard to stop. It's amazing what the simple practice of showing up can achieve over time. You don't need to be fancy or clever or brilliant if you can be consistent. A simple daily workout with a simple diet can produce a high level of fitness. Simple relationship habits like staring your partner in the eyes and saying, I love you every day, help build a bond of closeness. And simple awareness raising practices like meditation and journaling can develop a deep sense of inner peace. But these results only accumulate if you keep showing up. A single workout, A single I love you or a single meditation won't do much for you. It's the long-term habit that makes the difference. Choose an area of your life where you'd like to make real improvements and brainstorm ways to turn it into a process of showing up. You just listened to the post titled Showing Up by Steve Pavlina of stevepavlina.com. Now, we're here to optimize our health. Listening to these articles is important but getting personalized help can be a game changer. In the past, it's been difficult to get a clear picture of what our bodies look like on the inside or how to measure what choices are helping and hurting. That's what Inside Tracker was designed to solve. Inside Tracker was founded in 2009 by leading scientists in aging, genetics, and biometrics from MIT, Tufts, and Harvard. Using their patented algorithm, Inside Tracker analyzes your body's data to provide you with a clear picture of what's going on inside you and to offer you science-backed recommendations for positive diet and lifestyle changes. Then, Inside Tracker tracks your progress every day to help you reach your performance goals and live a longer, healthier life. Now, for a limited time, you can get 25% off the entire Inside Tracker store. Go to insidetracker.com slash OHD to get your discount code and to start using Inside Tracker today. That's insidetracker.com slash OHD for 25% off the entire Inside Tracker store. Dr. Neil again here for my commentary. Many behaviorists agree that the first step is often the hardest. And that's basically what Steve was trying to say. I could actually relate a little bit to his martial arts story. When I first started getting into boxing, I remember thinking, why am I paying somebody to basically beat me up? Why am I paying for this pain? But I kept showing up. I kept at it. It became a habit. And eventually, I started improving too. And just like Steve, there were days when I would get up and be like, I do not want to go today, but I already kind of prepaid in advance, so I would lose the money if I didn't go. So I would force myself to go. But as Steve mentioned, when you're there, you end up putting forth the effort and then you've done it and you feel so much better afterwards. So it's taking that first step and just getting yourself to move in that direction, getting that momentum going is often the hardest part. And like we've been saying, you can't always rely on motivation. You've got to try and remove any barriers that can stop you from getting that momentum or taking that first step. So let's say you want to incorporate more daily exercise into your routine. One way to hopefully get that momentum going is to make sure that you have sneakers right by the front door. So every time you come in and out of the house, you see those sneakers sitting right there waiting for you. You don't have to go upstairs, find them in your closet, dig around. No, no, they're right there. And I really appreciated that Steve mentioned that you don't need to think about this for a lifetime just yet. Just say, I'm gonna walk once around the block this afternoon. That's it. Then when you're done, leave those sneakers right by the front door like you did before. And then hopefully tomorrow, you'll do the same thing. I'm gonna walk just once around the block. And you wanna know a secret? Here's what ends up happening. You walk once around the block and you go, ah, that felt pretty okay. I think I can do another round. And then you say, oh, two rounds was okay. I might as well go for five. And before you know it, you've just got in 20 or 30 minutes of some cardio. And if you rewind an hour, you weren't even thinking about getting up off the couch. But afterwards, you know you're gonna feel so accomplished. 
So just take that first step. And as Steve said, just show up. Then reap the rewards. All right, that'll do it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you so much for listening. I'll be back here tomorrow as usual. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits.